the U.S. Supreme Court will consider Friday, tomorrow, whether to take up a lawsuit challenging President-elect Barack Obama's U.S. citizenship. I'd like to interject right there. He's not President-elect yet, showing you the ignorance of our media. The electors have not cast their votes and won't for several more days. A continuation of a New Jersey case embraced by many opponents of Obama's election. The meeting of justices will coincide with a vigil by the filer's supporters in Washington on the steps of the nation's highest court. The suit originally sought to stay the election and was filed on behalf of Leo Donofrio against New Jersey Secretary of State Nina Mitchell-Wells. Legal experts say the appeal holds little chance for success, despite appearing on the court's December 5 schedule. Legal records show it is the tip of an iceberg of nationwide efforts seeking to derail Obama's election over accusations that either wasn't that he either wasn't born a U.S. citizen or that he later renounced his citizenship. Who cares? We don't care about the Constitution. Now let's get on with the business of redistributing the wealth. Who cares about his citizenship anyway? We want our check. We want our free house. We want free health care. We want freebies. Nevertheless, the Obama campaign, continuing with the article, has maintained that he was born in Hawaii, but he won't show any proof of it. He has failed to show any proof of his birth in Hawaii. The bogus piece of paper image on the internet proves nothing. It's not a legal document. Continuing with the article, the Obama campaign has maintained that he was born in Hawaii, has an authentic birth certificate, but why won't he show it, and is a natural-born U.S. citizen, according to their opinion. They're not the Supreme Court. Hawaiian officials agree. Those Hawaiian officials might be confused, misled, bribed, coerced. Among those filing lawsuits is Alan Keyes and so on and so on. But the point is, on um, Friday, December the 5th, those cases will not be heard. One case will be examined by the nine justices of the U.S. Supreme Court. We don't care about Andy Martin. We don't care about the Berg case. We don't care about the most famous Quake case. We care about the case going to be considered Friday, December the 5th, by the Supreme Court. So even though the uh, media has begun to utter a peep about this most important case, and even though they're already spinning it in a negative light, as if they could read the minds of the Supreme Court, uh, I can't. No one can. A court is like the twilight zone. You never know what's going to happen. For the media to start spinning this as it suits them uh, is suspicious to me. And they try to add to the confusion by mixing in uh, irrelevant not pertinent cases that have nothing to do with the case filed by Leo Donofrio in his suit against the Secretary of State of New Jersey where he lives, alleging that she failed to fulfill her responsibilities as a government official in ensuring the validity of the ballot process. It was her job to check and to be sure that Obama was qualified. She did not. She is being sued. The Secretary of State for the state of New Jersey is being sued. Everything else is irrelevant. This case was handled properly by Leo Donofrio. It's legitimate. It will be decided by the Supreme Court, not by the news media, who has covered for Obama for the whole year.